Hi, I've just powered up a practical solution to our toxic waste problem for rural and urban environments worldwide. I'm Derek Partridge, and on behalf of the Balboa Pacific Corporation, I'm pleased to present the Balpac 2000 Thermal Converter. This machine transforms this load of garbage and hundreds of other toxic materials into this, which is totally safe, it's non-toxic, it's non-hazardous and non-leachable, and it can be disposed of without fear of polluting your soil or water. This will do the environment harm. This will not. We're talking about transforming the most commonly encountered industrial toxic wastes from polluted ground soil to plastics to clean, sometimes even reusable materials using a polluting free process that even generates steam or electricity. That's what the Balpac 2000 does. And now, let's take a look at how simply it does it. Solid toxic materials such as municipal waste, contaminated soils, rubber, old tires and all sorts of other rubbish is collected in this hopper and blended into a homogeneous feedstock which is fed by these augers into the converter chamber. Now it is possible to process the liquid and the solid feed system simultaneously if a higher BTU gas product is required. Now when it comes to liquid toxic materials like this absolutely revolting sludge they're collected in this hopper and then pumped by this progressive cavity pump into the converter chamber. Now, the hopper you see here is a very small one used for demonstration purposes only. Normally, we'd use a hopper exactly the same size as that used for the solid waste materials. The toxic materials are moved through the converter by a rotating auger which runs the entire length of the converter chamber. Furthermore, the rotation speed of the auger can be adjusted depending on the decomposition rate of the materials that are being decomposed. For example, it takes a lot less time to decompose municipal waste than tires or sludge which contains steel. Once in the converter, Balpac 2000 employs a proprietary decomposition process which uses indirect heat without oxygen. It's this intense heat that literally gasifies all organic waste. Now these gases contain the decomposed hazardous compounds and all the BTUs or fuel values which will be combusted and converted to steam or electrical energy. This combustion process completes the destruction of any hazardous or toxic compounds and this is the heart of the system. The process enables us to capture harmful gases and airborne toxins which we send to another chamber for elimination. This chamber, called the thermal oxidizer, combines oxygen with gases and initiates combustion. Combustion temperatures are maintained at a level determined by the EPA and government standards, and they completely destroy toxic compounds, any which are introduced. The composition of these compounds varies with the feed material. Temperatures will vary from 1,350 Fahrenheit for mildly hazardous materials to 2,450 Fahrenheit for more difficult compositions. And now the heat energy from the thermal oxidizer is drawn through the boiler. This generates steam which can run a steam turbine generator to create electricity or for normal industrial usage. The exhaust gases are drawn off by an induction fan outside the thermal converter and discharged into the atmosphere, or in extreme cases, into a scrubber system. The exhaust gases will be continuously monitored to ensure that they remain below government emission thresholds. So what we're doing is taking waste products and creating steam or electricity, while at the same time maintaining a clean environment. And that is the decomposition process in a nutshell. What kinds of waste can be processed by this system? Well, for example, ferrous and heavy metals, oil, sludge, tires, plastics, municipal waste, and many, many others. Now remember, what this system is actually doing is taking toxic materials and recycling them into materials that can be used again. Here's an example. This is carbon black. And other examples would be sand or ash. The Balpac 2000 can process up to two tons of waste product per hour. Other Balpac systems can process an even larger tonnage. Now obviously this is an extremely simple system to operate. One person can handle one to three machines, but because of safety reasons, two persons are recommended. That's one for loading and one to monitor. Safety and override systems are built in. The training of operators requires two weeks, and Balpac will provide technical support whenever you need it. However, this is a low-profile machine. It operates slowly. This means it doesn't wear out. 
It does require grease occasionally and a retort change after two or three years, but the electrical and mechanical systems are designed for a long, trouble-free life. And finally, this is a very simple and user-friendly system because once you set your temperature set points, it's fully automatic and will run by itself. And that is the Balpak 2000 thermal converter. We believe the ease of operation, efficiency and productivity of the Balpak 2000 make it the most exciting and versatile waste processing unit on the market today. It is designed to be a hard working tool for businesses and governments to eradicate toxins of virtually any kind. Please feel free to call us for more information and thank you for watching.